this is Pause the Cat, and welcome back to another video where today I am giving you a list of all the things that you would need to make your own gaming videos. So let's hop into things. So the first thing that you will need is obviously a computer that is absolutely necessary to be able to record videos and be able to upload them. So now let's answer the question, what type of computer do you need, a laptop or a desktop? Well, it all depends. So, a laptop is definitely a nice all-in-one package, you know, it comes with a mouse, well not exactly a mouse, but it comes with a touchpad, which is usable. It comes with a keyboard, it comes with a monitor, and it's, it's an all-in-one package, it has a mic, it has a webcam, and it is definitely a good option for someone who doesn't want to buy everything, including a mouse, you know, all that stuff. It's definitely a good option. Um, however, it doesn't have the same amount of power that a desktop would. Now if you really want um, to have something that's just going to sit on your desk the whole time, you don't really need to move it at all, I would recommend trying to get a desktop with a mouse and a keyboard and a monitor. All you need is one monitor and a webcam if you need it. Because desktops have way more power than any laptop would for the price. And you can even build it yourself to reduce the cost even more of getting a pre-built one. So there are plenty of videos that you can do some research with if you're considering getting a desktop because you might need some help trying to put it together or deciding on which one you want. And you can get a, a nice desktop for like 500 bucks and you can get a, even get a laptop that's able to record games for 500 bucks. Um, so just do your research and figure out your own budget for this stuff. So the next thing you'll need, obviously, is a YouTube channel, which isn't too difficult. All you need to do is go online, create a channel if you have a Google account and you need a Google Plus account, and it's just that simple. So all you need is an email address for that, and you can probably figure that out. So let's move on to the next part. So the next thing that you don't exactly need, but you should probably have, is a microphone. So if you get something like a laptop, uh, it does have a built-in microphone, but it's definitely not great quality. So the next question that that brings up is, should I get a headset or just a standalone microphone? And my immediate answer is just get a standalone microphone because most headsets, while they are nice and convenient and just sit in front of your face, which is definitely something that you, can, you should consider because it does get rid of that annoyance factor where you might have to lean in really close to your microphone or something um, by just having the, the microphone right in your face the whole time. You can turn your head and whatnot. But if you really want to get bang for your buck quality sound, um, I would definitely go with a standalone microphone because um, you don't have to pay for the headphones and the microphone. And honestly, you don't need headphones. Like, you don't need them. You might want them so you can actually listen to sound, but you can use earbuds just fine. Like, you don't need anything more than earbuds if you don't want it. <laughs> so, I would definitely go with a standalone microphone. My suggestions are something like, um, if you're on a budget, I would go with a Blue Snowball. It is definitely the best bang for your buck microphone. Now, if you can go a little bit higher, like two times the amount <laughs> of the, the Blue Snowball, in um, the about 120 range, I actually would not recommend getting the Blue Yeti because with the Blue Yeti, you have to pay for the extra features. And if you're just doing a voiceover sort of thing, like your commentary for gaming videos, you don't need all of those features. Those are for like um, two people speaking into the microphone from opposite sides for like interviews and stuff. And if you aren't going to do that, if you aren't going to do any music stuff, I wouldn't recommend getting the Blue Yeti. Yeti because it does have some problems with background noise, which I find pretty annoying in my videos if I had a Blue Yeti. Um, so I would recommend instead something like um, an Audio-Technica AT2020, which is just a condenser microphone, and in my opinion, it's better quality sound than the Blue Yeti. So that, that's my thoughts on the microphone, and those are some suggestions. However, if you do want to get a headset just for that convenience factor, I would recommend either HyperX Clouds or, <laughs> if you really have the budget for it, some Audio Technicas. Like, oh gosh, I can't even remember the name. Oh, how unprofessional. Oh, I'm so terrible. Anyway, um, there are some really 
expensive <laughs> Audio Technica headphones, but you know what? I'm not even gonna say them because they're like 500 bucks, and who realistically, unless you're doing this professionally, is gonna get those? So I'd recommend the HyperX Clouds or the HyperX Clouds 2 because they're only like 70 bucks and they have a really good quality video er, microphone. If you do want to listen to the microphone on the HyperX Clouds, I do have some videos from like, oh, Wildcat Survival or whatever that you can watch to see or to listen, <laughs> better said, um, to the microphone there. But currently I am actually using the Audio Technica ATR 2500, which is definitely another pretty good bang for your buck microphone. So let's move on to the next thing that you will need. So the next thing that you'll need is some recording software, obviously, so you can record your game and record your voice at the same time, and you can throw them in edit an editor, but let's talk about the recording software. So I personally use OBS. While it is mostly meant for streaming, it does have the option for local recordings, and it is not a bad option. It's free, which is very important, in my opinion, for someone who's on a budget like me. Uh, you don't have to pay anything for it and it makes good quality videos. Now OBS does reduce the quality of your videos um, some. So if you want a better quality recording software with more features and more options and you have some extra money lying around, go ahead and choose DxTory. Now I am going to link some tutorial videos and some uh, playlists of the um, different recording softwares in the description so you can go check out those it's omg craft or omg chad's videos on them he did an excellent job of explaining it so you can head down to the description and see those videos if you want to learn more about the recording softwares but i would recommend obs or um dx tori now often you probably hear about fraps now honestly i don't think fraps is the best option you do have to pay some money for it and it's just it's not it's not actually a great option so i i wouldn't recommend fraps and i wouldn't recommend something like bandicam either i think obs and dx story are definitely your best trustworthy options um now obs and dx story probably have some learning curves so that's why i mentioned the uh, the, the tutorial videos in the description and they will let you use them just fine so yeah that is the recording software let's move on to the next thing and the actual final thing that you need. That's right, final thing. All right, so the final thing that you'll need, drum roll please, is editing software. So there are plenty of options for editing software. There are all sorts of options for editing software. So the first one that I might recommend if you're on a budget um, is Windows Movie Maker. It's completely free. You can just download it and it gives you the options to just throw clips together and it's really great. You can edit them just fine and it works wonderfully for me. The only problem is that there are not any super advanced settings. You do have transitions and whatnot, but there is no putting videos in videos or pictures in pictures. Um, so there's no like collage making or whatever, that kind of stuff. Hopefully you can understand what I mean. <laughs> um, but yeah, that is Windows Movie Maker. If you're on a budget, that is a great option. It's a really good editing software for no money whatsoever. No deals, no contracts, no no nothing. Not even an account. So, uh, the next thing, if you are, if you do have some sort of a budget, um, I might recommend Sony Movie Studio or Sony Movie Studio Platinum. So, those have a few more features. Um, definitely good software as well. And that's more around the $50 to $70 range if you have some extra money lying around. But a very popular editing software if you have a whole bunch of money, and this would probably be if you're thinking about doing this professionally, or you are doing this professionally, um, I would recommend uh, Sony Vegas. Uh, this is definitely a very popular editing software, but it is also very expensive. <laughs> And it's over $300 and I don't want to pay for it that much, or I don't want to pay that much for an editing software yet because in my mind it's not worth it when you have options like Windows Movie Maker that's free. Um, but if you really want to go out there, <laughs> there is also Adobe After Effects which is like, oh my goodness, that's really expensive. So I actually wouldn't recommend that because I'm pretty sure there's a big learning curve like that as well. Um, but yeah, those are my video uh, editing softwares. And that's actually it. I mean, you don't need 
that much and it really doesn't cost that much and it's definitely possible to record your own videos for anyone almost if you just have some money lying around so i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did a rating is greatly appreciated and do give me some suggestions on what you want to see next as a tutorial for example an intro or an outro or thumbnails or anything like, like that and if you do want to see those do subscribe because you will see them eventually so i hope you enjoyed this and i will see you in the next one bye